Hi everyone, and welcome to your June edition of the Faculty eBulletin. Now, as we progress through the year towards the summer months, we're entering a really busy period for public health. Bank holidays and warmer weather often mean that many have enjoyed an opportunity to holiday and to meet with family and friends. However, this time of year also sees the emergence and re-emergence of predictable and novel seasonal health threats. Nevertheless, I hope that you've all had time and found time to reconnect with loved ones, spend time outdoors and replenish and recharge as we continue to work together to support and deliver on increasingly complex and challenging imperatives. Now, it's hard to believe that I'm approaching the one year milestone of my presidency of the Faculty of Public Health, and I'm concluding visits and engagement events with members in all the UK nations in regions. In these visits, we've been having conversations with our members on how the faculty can best support you in the coming years. And there've been a number of consistent themes which have emerged. These include the faculty's role in connecting local learning from across regions, our role in enhancing advocacy for equitable public health programs, policies and outcomes, and our role in sharing knowledge and promising practices on the major issues we face in public health. Alongside our local board members, we have been collating and discussing these recurrent themes and these insights and ensuring that the faculty executive and board are integrating this, these new insights to guide and further adapt our programs. Now, in driving forward our role as a thought leader and advocate for equitable public health, we recently held a major conference on public health action to tackle poverty and the cost of living crisis. I'm delighted that over a thousand registered delegates heard from local and national leaders working across the health system and in the voluntary and charity sectors. And I thank our poverty special interest group for their leadership in delivering this event. Looking ahead, I'm really pleased that in June, the faculty will be launching our new distinguished lecture series, inviting senior leaders from within and outside the public health prof profession to explore the changing nature of public health practice and to reflect on opportunities to think differently about public health in the 21st century. The first of these conversations will take place on the 23rd of June, where Professor Kamara Jones will be discussing her distinguished career in public health and her work in naming, measuring and addressing the impacts of systemic racism on health and well-being. Details of how to register for this important event and conversation are included in your e-bulletin below. Also coming up this month, we have our annual general meeting, which takes place on the 27th of June at the Royal College of Physicians of London. Whilst in-person attendance is limited, I'm encouraging members to register to join the meeting via the live stream link, which is available in the e-bulletin. Now, as well as reflecting on the faculty's achievements over the past year, and looking forward to future plans guided by our focus areas for 2022 to 2025, we will be welcoming our new board members and thanking those who demit office for their years of service. As always, I close by thanking you all for your continued work to protect and improve health for all. And I encourage all of our members to stay up to date with the work of the faculty by following us on Twitter, where you can view our weekly roundup of our faculty's work by using the hashtag 5 from FPH. Thank you everyone and I hope you have a healthy and productive start to the summer months.